Hi my loves, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a super quick, fun, and flirty style for the summer. Super quick ponytail, so if you're interested in learning how to do this, then keep on watching. So we are going to be doing a quick, easy, and simple pony sale today. I actually saw this video on Instagram and I'll credit sis right here. Definitely want to credit her because I've never seen a ponytail be done in this way. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. It took me a while to figure out exactly how this works. Like my brain was just so confused. And then I finally got it. And I was like, oh my God, this is so easy. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's just a really quick, simple fun look especially for summer you're trying to find a quick and easy natural style this is perfect for that so okay let's talk about it i'm gonna be using one bundle um this is burmese curly hair it's just one bundle i don't i think this length may be like 18 i feel like this is the perfect length and i just kind of like took the bundle and like folded it in half if you can tell and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take three hair ties and ultimately they're gonna be tied onto the bundle like this. So you're gonna have three. There's one in the middle, but it's like hiding for some reason. Um, I'm gonna take one off so I can show y'all. But you're basically just gonna split the hair like this. And then you're gonna take your hair tie and you're gonna loop it around the bundle. So it's gonna look like this. So it's gonna look like this. And then you're going to take one side of the hair tie and pull it through the other side like that and just pull it tight. So then we're going to slick our hair back into a bun. So I'm just going to do a middle part. Perfect. Now, I'm using water right now. Honestly, I like to use water like kind of on the back of my hair um, as opposed to using product to slick it down. I just don't like the feeling of having a bunch of products caked up on my hair. So I start off using water and then I'll use like edge control like right around the edges to slick my edges down. I am tripping. So I completely forgot that I'm actually going to be leaving, I'm going to be doing two pieces in the front. I don't know what my brain was thinking. So now I'm going to take my edge control. For today, I'm going to be using She Is Bomb. I'm not crazy about this edge control. Honestly, I can't really find like one that I am crazy about. So I'll just be using whatever. So now that my edges are slicked down, I am going to wet my little poof back here because my ends are a little thick and I want my bun to be as small as possible. So I'm just gonna take my hair and just try and make a teeny tiny small bun. So that's about as small as I can get it. Here's the bun. My ends are really thick, so it's hard for me to make a really small one, but 
that's good enough. Now we're gonna do our ponytail. So y'all probably won't really be able to tell on camera, but this the bun the color of this bundle is not jet black. It's like a dark brown, it won't be. Um, I can't find my black curly hair, so I had to just grab this one. But honestly, you can't really tell. But I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there in case anybody does notice and they're like, wait, it doesn't match. So what you're going to do for your first loop, this is going to be the part that you attach to your bun. So like this, and I'm just going to attach the hair to my bun like that. So what you want to do from here is you're going to wrap the bundle around your bun and then once you get to this middle loop you're going to do the same thing that you just did so you're just going to take the the tie And you're gonna wrap it around your bun like that. And then you're just gonna keep going with the rest of the bundle. Wait, you can't see. Then, when I get to this last loop, I'm going to take this and wrap it around the entire ponytail. Like that. And then, of course, you can always take a piece of the ponytail and use it to wrap it around. I'm gonna take a bobby pin to just secure that little piece of hair that I wrapped around the ponytail. And here's your ponytail. I actually washed this bundle, so it's a little bit like, um, it's not as fluffy as I want it to be, but as it dries, it'll get like just a little bit bigger. So now we're gonna do our two pieces in the front, all right? So here's the deal, y'all. Because I want my two front pieces to match the texture of my ponytail, I'm gonna add in two pieces of the bundle here. So I just cut these pieces off of the bundle. I am gonna glue these directly to my scalp, okay? I don't want y'all to come for me. I've been gluing hair directly to my scalp for a very, very long time, like 15 or so years. So I am very comfortable with doing this. If you are not comfortable with doing this, don't do it. Like I would just rather you be safe than sorry, or, you know, not do it properly and pull your hair out, whatever. So um, I'm doing this part because I'm comfortable with it, but you do not have to do this. Or maybe if your hair texture already matches you know, this type of curly texture, then you can just use your own regular hair. But my front pieces are actually very damaged. And so um, they have no curl pattern to them whatsoever. They're actually breaking off really bad right now. So I need a little extra something to help my pieces match the front of my hair. So that is what we are going to do. So just measuring how much I need and then I'm going to cut it. All right, so we're going to blend that in a second some kind of way. And then we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. If you do decide to glue in a piece, make sure you're not adding like a whole glob of glue. You just need like a little, um, 
just enough because if you add too much, then you'll be able to see the glue. So now we gotta figure out how we're gonna blend this and make it work. Okay, so now I remember why I stopped using that edge control because it is starting to leave a white cast. Y'all, I need really good edge control suggestions. Please leave them in the comments below. So I think I'm gonna wet these pieces to get them to, number one, not be as poofy, and then two, blend a little bit better with my hair. I'm just gonna take some water on my hands. And then I also have some leave-in conditioner, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of leave-in. Add it to my little piece. Ah, oh, it's so cute! Okay, 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 it's so cute! It's so cute! I was not expecting it to come out that good. Okay. And then we're gonna just do the same thing to the other side. Just adding some leave in. Should make sure everything's nice and blended together. And boom, she is done. This is so cute. This okay, wait, real quick. I gotta just lay my little side burns down. Um actually I don't want to use this edge control because I don't like it. I'm using my main choice edge control for my I really don't care for this one either because it doesn't really have that strong of a hold. It's like more so greasy than anything and i particularly don't like that okay and we're done y'all this came out so so good i'm gonna be honest with y'all i wasn't expecting it to come out this good like i'm not even gonna lie i kid y'all not but i wasn't expecting this <laughs> I wish that my ponytail was black because literally I want to just keep my hair like this but but I feel like when I go out in the sun you're gonna be able to tell I have this brown ass ponytail and my natural hair is black um, but y'all can see it's starting to dry a little bit more and so it's getting a little bit fluffier I don't like too fluffy but just want y'all to be able to see the back can't see my little ball that I have going This is super cute, okay? This is e This is eating. Like, this is literally eating. I mean, this is like the perfect going out look. And y'all, it took me a, a lot longer because I'm filming. But when I tell you this style is so quick and so easy to do. And what the heck is this? And because I had the three um, hair ties on it, like this point, it's secure. It's not going anywhere, but... It's super secure. You don't have to worry about it coming off, falling off. Like that's not gonna happen. I forgot to mention, this is the leave-in conditioner I use just in case you're curious. I got this in a PR package years ago. It's probably expired if we're being honest, but um, this is the only leave-in conditioner that I've tried so far that I really like. Like it doesn't make your hair feel like heavy or weighed down. So this is what I use to help blend my natural hair with these two pieces right here in the front. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about this style. I'm sorry that I've been in my A. I feel like I said that all the time. Honestly, I had to learn that it's okay um, to be burnt out sometimes. And I feel like I say that all the time too, but like I just be burnt out. Like I be burnt out. I feel like sometimes my creative juices don't really flow all the time. And sometimes I don't even have ideas. I don't know what I want to do with my hair. And so I apologize for that. I do want to start to do like more natural styles like this like i feel like i'm all quick weaved out i've done all the quick weave styles like 
I just want to start doing some different stuff and like y'all I keep looking in the mirror because I'm just like in awe at how good this came out but yeah so if you have like some ideas please send some inspo my way because I am struggling in the inspo department not gonna promise you videos every single week because at this point I don't even know if my schedule can handle that but I am gonna do better at um, uploading more videos monthly. I don't know what that's gonna look like exactly, but make sure you subscribe to my channel so that way you're always notified whenever I do post a video, even if it's not on the same consistent day every week, you'll still be notified. Let me know what you guys think about this look, how it came out, do you like it, do you love it? Are you obsessed with it because you can't hate it? There's no way you can hate this look. Like this is just, chef's kiss it's everything um make sure you like subscribe sis if you have not done so already i would highly appreciate it y'all i'm at about 78,000 subscribers and i would love to get to 100 by the end of the year that is my goal so please subscribe if you have not subscribed already i would greatly appreciate it give me some inspo in the comments below let me know what kind of styles you guys want me to try i'm not doing not lose braids on myself ever again so please nothing that takes eight 24 or 48 hours to do because I, I don't have the patience anymore to do stuff like that but you can think of some quick easy simple styles like this let me know I'll try them and yeah thank you guys so much as always for clicking on my video today and I'll see you guys in my next video